learners, welcome to week two of our course. Last week, we focused on the syllabus and introducing ourselves, which I have really enjoyed getting to know each and every one of you from your discussion posts. This week, we'll be focusing on chapter one in the text, as well as discussing what makes an effective teacher. Effective teaching has the potential to transform both you and your students. So I encourage you to really reflect on what effective teaching is and how you can apply it to your job as an educator or future educator. So let's go ahead and open up the week two module. As always, you have the week two overview video with our learning objectives, which you have obviously found if you are watching this video. Our learning objectives for this week are to discuss the importance of effective teaching in the lives of educators and students, to describe and understand the characteristics of effective teachers, and to reflect on personal strengths and weaknesses in relation to characteristics of, reflective, of effective teaching. You also have the week two lecture video, which is on chapter one of our text. For readings this week, I'm encouraging you to read chapter one of our text. Additionally, there is a seven minute TED Talk video by Rita Pearson that I'm asking you to watch. I find this video very inspiring and I take away something different from this video every time I watch it. Notice the take note sticky note, which asks you to reflect on the information in the video and how it shapes your philosophy as a teacher. It also asks you to identify three things that stood out to you in the video. These sticky notes are there to guide your learning, so look out for them throughout the course. For our week two discussion, you are asked to answer the following questions. What do you think makes an effective, what do you think makes teaching effective? What are three things that stood out to you from the Every Kid Needs a Champion video? And how do the characteristics of effective teaching shaped your plans as a future educator? As always, your initial post is due on Wednesday by 11.59 p.m. while at least two replies to your peers are due on Sunday by 11.59 p.m. Discussions are a great way to connect what you are learning to your experiences, as well as read and learn from the experiences of your peers. Happy posting. Finally, we have our first assignment due on Sunday. For this assignment, which is aligned with this week's learning objectives, you are asked to write an essay on what you think makes an effective teacher. This assignment requires you to think critically and reflect on what you have read as well as enhances your writing abilities, preparing you for post-college. I encourage you to draw from the reading and videos from this week, as well as your personal experiences for this essay. This essay will be composed of an introduction, at least two body paragraphs, and a conclusion. The introduction is an overview of what you will be discussing in your body paragraphs. Your body paragraphs answer the question and provide support for your answer. And the conclusion discusses your main points and provides an ending for your paper. I recommend answering the question in the first body paragraph and drawing on your personal experiences and reflection on the second body paragraph. This paper should be at least two pages, double spaced, and should also include a cover page, which is not part of those two pages. Please, no direct quotes. You may paraphrase and cite if you're building off an idea that is not your own. Assignment one is due on Sunday by 11.59 p.m. Please submit this assignment via Canvas. Now I'd like to note that PDFs and PNGs are not accepted, only doc and doc X's. That is it for this week. If you have any further questions, concerns, or would like to check in, please do not hesitate to contact me. I'm here to support you and for your success. I'm, I mean, I'm here to support you and your success. 
As always, here's our week two checklist. And I am so excited to read your ideas on effective teaching, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you better. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week.